speed or high combos, and Wolf does it all very well. Speaking of a couple of the generalists versus specialists, we've got Jen versus Melly coming back up to uh, coming up onto stream, and Melly here with the Richter, here with the I'm gonna I'm gonna play the projectile, I'm gonna play the zoning game, and all of those points put into a solid suite of flexible projectiles. Meanwhile, Palutena has been doing it since 2019. Absolutely, <laughs> sort of the way that Wolf has been falling off. Palutena is just on sort of another level of that generalist game plan where I feel like she just has a little bit a little bit more flexibility in each of those um, each of those categories, I guess. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. I mean, you have a higher speed, a bigger grab, invincible back air. Like, you know, that you have those extra little ticks that uh, that can check off boxes and on top of and make things a hassle for players that Full screen, half screen, you know, close range. There's a little bit more availability within her kit, but you still have to worry about some of the the, the classic Richterisms. The amount of whips that Melly has been throwing out, truly really focusing on anti airs, while Jen has been focusing on gathering data to make hard reads like that. Yep, and. Even in the neutral, Jen has just already been making things so much more difficult for Melly to sort of play that classic Richter game plan. We've already seen the auto radical, you know, something that Jen can just do for a little bit of free pressure from across the stage. We've seen it just completely negate the cross boomerang, which is so important for Melly's neutral. For sure. Like, you cross. Uh, I, Richter's trademark game plan is trying to cut off horizontals so he can slap you with uh, angled whips in order to for a high knockback and for stocks as well. That was definitely, I, I almost kind of like that from Melly being it, the ledge drop double jump uh, holy water, but it just didn't hold a candle to Jen's. Uh, Jen's well-placed aerial, yep. and speaking you, of... Okay, this. no, he had his, had his double jump, so Melly is going to be making it back to stage, but not without a cost of 60%. Palutena and air combos, but Jen doing a... Being being really smart about it from a matchup sense as the uh, Holy Water into four tilt, it will take the stock. Uh, generally, you want to push uh, you want to push Richter off stage as deep as you can go, so pivoting away from the forward tilt, uh, pivoting away from up airs, which is guaranteed somewhere like 55, into more forward airs, not only netted him more damage because he could follow drift, but also almost an edge guard situation, which mm -hmm. is huge. Still, if you have that down throw tech chase on these PS2 platforms, it's so huge, just absolutely perfect height for that down throw, and finding so many parries as well. Jen just on point with the patience and the counterplay to a lot of the projectile game, which sometimes all you need is that little bit of space. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, and then we can see also, you know, something that's so great for Palutena is that sort of, is that teleport, where just, you know, I don't really feel like I want to be ledge trapped right now. I'd like to be back in the center stage, please. And, you know, yeah. if Melly doesn't have the read on that, if he's, you know, too focused on setting up the holy water at the ledge, Jen's just getting back to center stage for free. Yeah, go go gadget stage control, please. Yeah. <laughs> so a couple upbeats out of shield from Melly, looking for a bit of a difference maker. There it is, exactly what you're saying, Force Armor, to bypassing the ledge trap completely and getting right to center, mixing in again, going horizontal mid combo in order to set up another uh, another set of uh, strings and another set of juggling on the back on the platforms back and forth, netting a total of 83. And that's just kind of the thing you have to hold as Richter. Unfortunately, you get big. Uh, fortunately, you get big swings like that forward smash. But speaking of another I mean, big swing forward smash, Man. Melly choosing to go way high there, but regrabbing the ledge is going to net Jen that down or down air. Yeah. So so clean from Jen, and that's I mean it's the experience that he comes from playing. Uh, not only Palutena for so long, but also having his own little bit of experience with playing slower characters. I mean, not to bring it up, but Jen is formerly a Ryu main in Smash 4, so he understands that characters with low airspeed don't have as many options in disadvantage natively as characters like Palutena with high mm -hmm. airspeed. So he abused that to hell and back. Yeah, and we could even see, you know, in those, you know, really long combos that Jen was getting, Melly just, it felt kind of lost in when it came to disadvantage. We didn't see many, like, down airs or anything yeah. come out because, you know, Palutena up air is just going to stuff that completely. Yeah, but 
almost no room for reversals coming out from Richter. And if you don't have that down air as a threat of like, I can turn your combo into mine, then you have to sit there and think, wow, I'm playing the character with arguably the worst movement <laughs> in the game. Like bottom five air speed, bottom five air acceleration, very, very slow dash. She's reliant on things like axe and cross and down air to get, uh, to get places and to cover space. And if you can't cover space, then oh boy, you're in for you're in for a beating. Yeah, yeah, no. Belmont is very much the sort of classic zoner where I feel like a lot of zoners in this game have been given more like scrappy tools. Belmonts, I feel, are much more closer to the archetype of I will make sure you never get in because if you do, I die. Yeah, he he specked all of his points into projectiles and range yeah. and focusing on like, hey, I'm just. I'm going to play at arm's reach. Oh, saving the jump and getting a huge whip recovery. That's, I guess, a huge benefit to uh, to uh, putting into range. You have that tether recovery available to you. Charging the down smash, but Ooh, Jen... I think I, that was an air dodge. Yeah, I liked the patience. You don't want to get interact with Holy Water, especially since you saw Melly already charging the down smash, but just buffering the air dodge, buffering the... It seemed maybe buffering a roll a little bit too late. Yeah, and I think maybe got clipped by the Holy Water. Yeah. Could have been it. But now Melee gets to play from in front now, while Jen has to worry more about getting in. That was such a good grab to mix in, because Melee's been doing a lot of dash attack, which you don't see as a lot as Richter, but throwing in a dash attack or an into as a uh, as a mix-up is super huge, and being able to throw in grabs as well as Melee just continues to play that keep out game, peppering with forward tilt after forward tilt, a couple angled up forward airs. And, and those dash attacks. Yeah, dash attack actually working as a bit of an anti-air there because of that you know long-lasting hitbox that happens right above Richter. And great SDI there from Jen, making sure to not die to that F smash. Oh. Richter with the lead. The Belmont son of Belmont is out here just maintaining center stage. Ooh, that axe could have been deadly for Jen, but just another back air all Melly needs to keep this momentum going, taking Jen's second stock while Melly sitting pretty on his first. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious why Jen decided to pivot into a down throw back air onto that platform instead of looking for up airs. But you found the roll on and uh, Jen has found a couple hard, pretty huge roll reads mm -hmm. throughout this game. Just not able, well, that was the first one that it was able to take a stock, but in a deficit like these, you're gonna need a few more huge reads like that. Mm, trying to get find their way in with a more opportune starter, like that neutral air there, instead of fast falling with a forward air, but able to find a reversal, uh, reversal nair into 32, 43, and climbing, but that's where it ends. Yeah, I think Melly held off on throwing there, wanted to maybe get a little more damage from the cross Noran coming back, but unfortunately it came back to bite him in the, the cost of a Paltana nair train. But now Jen off stage again, <laughs> gets a little two frame with just the holy water bottle. Yeah. I don't need what's inside it. I just want to hit you with this. <laughs> it's made of glass. It is. You know, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Great air dodge there from Melly, but you know you're off stage again, and it just feels like both of these players have been blowing each other up at ledge, and that's just kind of the the specialist nature of the Belmonts. Yeah, it's all in um, on that ledge trapping, and they found. Uh, but Jen finding a pretty solid down to into back air pretty, a lot earlier, and it keeps this game extremely even because you can play very evasive around some of Belmont's more higher punishes. I mean, back air only, only being active for one frame helps with that a ton with Palutena's insane mobility. All you really need to do is find a couple forward airs off stage, but Melly doing a great job of poking at the angles of which Jen is going to approach at. Not necessarily where he's currently is standing, but the positions where it's like, you want to be here to find a forward air, so that's where Cross will be. Yep. Oh, okay, no reversal. I was expecting Uppy out of shield there, Ooh. but in sticking the drag down Uppy, no good DI there by Jen. Trying to pepper with a forward air, but the added shield stun from the cross keeps Melee in a solid standing position. There's one of those reversal downers finding a chance to throw it out. Too high percent to find anything off of it, but at this point, any stray hit keeps Melee in control of the game. You can't let Palutena start to snowball. 
And speaking of keeping oh, control of the game, I do want to point out, I love the way that Bro Melly... Again. Oh, another read. I love the way that Melly had been controlling center stage to really threaten Jen using those uh, teleports back into center stage the way that he's been doing before. Oh, I tried to go for another roll read there. Jen now sitting at almost 200. Not able to get the F-Tilt. Oh, the intensity as Melly just is throwing out whip after whip. The drop through platform, but gets the parry on the re the attempted reversal. That's and there's the up air. It. The trouble with air speed. I feel yep. like it's it, literally, it can never be understated. It is what keeps characters strong even when they fall out of favor and or when they uh, lose some of their player base. It's the fact that you can always rely on air speed. Look at the double jump as well. Uh, we'll see the full extent of that up air, but I really want to stress just the trouble that Melly was having whenever they found a hit or whenever they uh, found a found themselves at a disadvantage. They double jump here and they go from about here to here. Yeah, like, that's, uh... that's it's not. And you know what, Palutena's up air covers all of that, and <laughs> as you can see, that is just makes yeah. for a very very sad face. That's uh, <laughs> that's what we call symbolism. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tragic, though, because it's the, like, Richter can be, uh, I'll be the first one to say, Richter can be played extremely cool. And oh, yeah. there is a lot of very interesting setups and set play that can be done with the variety and the range that he has and just the specificity of his projectiles. I mean, Cross can be used as a boomerang or can be used as a, uh, as a horizontal knock, as you see it going it through, throwing it behind him to cover this entire plane if it doesn't return to Richter. Uh, axe being at a super per, uh, specific angle. Holy water, super specific angle. And the whip to corral all of that. But it just, sometimes, and especially against higher tier matchups, just aren't able to pull it all together. And because he's lacking some of that, that one key smash trait, mm -hmm. airspeed. And that's kind of...